Hey, welcome to the homestead. We're out here beside the garden, and today we're gonna dig up some potatoes. Now, after all my other potato plants died, I pretty much just gave up on this garden bed and let it all go to weeds, but we did have a couple of potato plants that still kind of grew up. They seem to be choked out by the weeds. They've all kind of just disappeared and died. So I'm gonna just start digging and see if we can uh, come up with something. I can definitely grow something. Just never what I intend to grow. I can grow this kind of grass and I can grow this kind of grass and I can grow these weeds and I didn't even know that cup was in here. So let's dig in here right here around where this plant's growing up. I know one of the potato plants was right here and I just buried them about what eight inches six or eight inches below the dirt. That looks like a potato. That looks like a potato. Ooh, bugs getting at me. Okay, so we got all that gone. That's a little potato. There's one. That's a little potato. Ooh, that's a good sized little potato. It's two. There's another one, it's three. Four. Oh, there's some more. Five. Six. And a little one. Seven. Oh, there's another one. Eight. Nine. Oh, another good size one. Ten. Is that it? Is that it for that one? Oh, there's another one. 11. That might be it for that one. 11. 11 little potatoes that I didn't have before. That's pretty cool. I grew something. Who'd have thunk? It really wasn't that difficult. Well, considering all the problems that I had, it was that difficult. I don't know that it's worth it, but it kind of feels like it might be worth it right now. Let's check this other plant. Do the same thing, clear out all these weeds that I'm so good at growing. Now this soil, I really didn't do anything to this soil. I pulled it right out of the uh, edge of the woods, down by the creek. We, uh, we sifted it so that we got all the big rocks out. Now this has just been growing all by itself. We didn't, we didn't add any fertilizer. We didn't add any nutrients. This is all just natural dirt. Right, here's that other plant. Already, there's one, two, another one, three, there's another one, four, Ooh, big one. whoa, look at that, five, Small. 
six, seven, eight, Just eight out of that one. I got some good sized ones. I'm actually quite surprised. I did not think that just throwing some potatoes that we had sitting in our pantry, just throwing them in the ground, I didn't think that that would work. But look at there. From two potatoes that were sitting in our pantry getting old, we've got a nice little uh, pile for maybe some roasted garlic potatoes or, or mashed potatoes or these little golden ones. My wife likes it when I chop them up and saute them in a little bit of oil and then bake them with rosemary. She really likes that. Out of two of those potatoes, just two potatoes, got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19 of those golden potatoes that you like. And look at this big one. Who'd have thought I'd be a farmer? So now what are we supposed to do? Like supposed to set them out in the sun and let them dry? I would not. I would just take them inside, I guess, and let them dry. There we have it. Our very first potato harvest ever. And we got a handful of potatoes. Two handfuls of potatoes. That's pretty cool. Is there anything else that we want to plant in this bed? It seems to be doing all right. You, can pro you might be able to plant potatoes again. You think we could plant potatoes again? I don't know. Some, I think somebody said that they were going to. Let me know if, uh, if you can plant potatoes this late in the season in a raised bed like this. I know that they usually like cooler weather, but hey, I'm up for trying anything now. I grew me some potatoes. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. If you found this video entertaining or informative, I don't know how informative that could be. I just dug up some potatoes out of the ground. But uh, go ahead and, and give it the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, feel free to subscribe. If you want to see more of what we've got going on here at the homestead, we're going to take a look at some of these tomato plants. Apparently there's some kind of something eating them. Uh, but we'll see you guys on the next video. You have to find the hornworm. I'll find a horn, horn, hornworm. I think it's on that one, this you, one. You think it's on that tree? Okay. Yeah, things, like when you find the so what do we got here? What's all this? Well, take it off. That's something separate. 